In this set of videos, we'll be looking at creating a 3D game in Construx. Now, Construx just started adding some 3D capabilities. It's nowhere near as powerful as other engines such as Godot, Unreal, or Unity. But also, Construx is really easy to use, so there are some benefits of using the 3D features inside of Construct. So, how do we get started? So, first of all, I'll set up a very simple scene here. So, I've got a player, which is just a sprite. I've got a tile background just so we can see a floor. And we've got these 3D shapes, which I'll talk a little bit more about in the next video. So first thing we need to do is right click. I'm going to insert two new objects. So the first one we want is our 3D camera. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to add that. I'm going to start by getting this programmed and then we'll add some mouse capabilities to look around the camera. So on our event sheets, we're going to add a brand new event and we're going to do on start of layout so on the start of layout we want to assign our 3d camera and give it a job to do so 3d camera look out parallel to layout i'm going to set this to player dot x player dot y the camera z is how far up the camera is so i've set this to 10 Obviously, the higher the camera is, the higher it looks over the rest of the scene. So 10 is about a good level for about player height. And then our look angle is going to be player dot angle. So once that's set up, we can hit done. We're then going to make sure the camera is moving with us. So every tick, what we're going to do is we're going to set the camera. And we're looking at look at position or set position sorry set position and this is going to be set to the player dot x player dot y and again the z is going to be the height of our player so 10 which we'll leave as camera also every tick we go to our player and we're just going to set the angle of our player. And the angle is going to be set to 3D camera dot camera X rotation. So with that set up, we can hit play. And now we can view the game in our 3D mode. So we can see that this is, in fact, a 3D game made in the Construct engine. But we can't do a lot. So let's add some camera movement now with the use of a mouse. So I'm going to create a new object. I'm going to scroll down to mouse. And we're going to add our mouse. With our mouse edits, we're going to add an event to do with our mouse. And we're going to check if we've got any movement. So on movement of the mouse, what do we want to do? So we can do 3D camera. And we're going to rotate camera. And we're looking at mouse dot movement X, mouse dot movement Y. And then this final bit here, the min and max polar angle. This is how far we can look up and down. So what you want to do is you want to set this. I found about 20 and 160s, not bad numbers. But this will stop you being able to look all the way up, look behind you, look to the floor, and then look back the way. So it stops your character being able to flip around with the camera. So that's really nice to add there. With that set up, we can hit done, hit play, and now we're able to control the camera. Now this camera is extremely sensitive. So what we're going to do is we go back, double click on our code, and we're going to divide this number by 10. Now, this is our mouse sensitivity. What we could do is add a global variable called mouse sense. And we could set this up to be 10. And then we could divide this by mouse sense instead. And this means we could quickly change that variable if we need to. Mouse sense. So we've got that option as well if we want to have it a bit more adjustable. So now this camera is much more manageable. I can look around. I'm using a trackpad, so bear with me as I turn all the way around my level and we can see all parts of it. So that's a very, very simple tutorial on how to set up the camera so you can look around. 
Next video is we explore actually creating a 3D level and also moving around in that 3D Just level. Edit to the mouse video. So I'm using a trackpad, so I didn't spot this originally, but you'll see that when I move the mouse, it moves around. But I can move my mouse off the screen and then it goes off. So really quick fix for this. All we're going to do is in the event sheets, we're going to set up this new line of code, which is this line here. And on the left button clicked, request pointer lock. This will lock ourselves into the screen and this will stop our mouse being able to go off it. So if we hit play, click, now we're locked and now we can move around freely and you'll see this worked much better than what it did before. So press escape to exit that and that's just a quick edit just for that section of the video.